Welcome to Whole Life Living TV show, sponsored by Sherry Gideon's International, a show that explores simple ways to live life at your highest potential through the latest outstanding topics, advice, and positive news from a healthy, happy, more positive, loving mindset with internationally known guests and everyday people sharing simple ways to take belief and apply it towards mastering your dreams and life. I'm your host, Sherry Gideons. Thank you for joining us today. And we thoroughly enjoy having all of you here. The main site that you can visit me on for further information is wholelifeliving.com. Anytime you want to know more about the show, who's the upcoming guest, and the archives of previous guests, you can visit wholelifeliving.com. And my guest today is Dr. Jeffrey Rosenberg who is a leading nationally board certified chiropractor serving the New York area. He was born and raised on Long Island, New York, and pursued his education at Life College of Chiropractic in Merida, Georgia, and graduated in March of 1993, and started practicing in November of 1993. Dr. Rosenberg treats neck pain, headaches, back pain, sciatica, disc herniations, and bulges, stenosis, rotator cuff strains, tennis elbow, and golfer's elbow, carpal tunnel syndrome, and plantar fasciitis. Dr. Rosenberg is one of the only doctors in the United States who is certified in three safe, gentle, and proven techniques, Graston technique, active release technique and Cox technique. The combination of these three techniques, along with 22 years of clinical expertise, ensures that Dr. Rosenberg can alleviate your pain and end your suffering so that you can live in your full potential business and relationships. Welcome, Dr. Jeffrey Rosenberg. Glad to have you. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So, you know what, tell us a little bit about, you know, what is chiropractic? Sure. Chiropractic, can you hear me well? Yeah. Chiropractic is an art. It's a science and it's a philosophy. And the art is my hands. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use your body just like an artist would, a, would use a canvas. And I'm going to find out what's causing the problems that you're having, what's causing the pain that you're having, what's interfering with your life. My hands are trained to locate and detect misalignments of your spine, the ligaments, your fascia, that's the part of your body that holds everything together, so that I could put it back into place so that you could live in your full potential in your body, your business, and your relationships. There's a science behind chiropractic, and the science is that we know that chiropractic care not only gets people out of pain for headaches, lower back pain, disc herniations, but we know that chiropractic care or adjusting the spine and putting things into their proper place increases serotonin levels in the body as well as oxytocin levels in the body and helps the body produce its own antioxidants. The philosophy behind chiropractic is that the body heals on its own. When you have a cut on your arm or anywhere in your body, you don't have to sit there and tell it how to heal. It knows how to do that. And what chiropractic does is we just remove what's interfering with your body and your body heals on its own. That's what chiropractic is. Wow, I love that. Let me take a moment to ask our guests if there comes a time when you have any questions uh, around the topic matter, please take a moment to, uh, Jeff, do you mind people coming in and asking you specific questions around what you're sharing? No, I like that because I, like I like to help educate and serve your audience to the best of, of my ability. And a lot of times if somebody has a question now and they're holding it to the end, they're going to forget it. So now's the best time to ask. All right. So there's two options. First of all, please share this with all of your little birds on the left-hand side. Tell a bird. Tell Twitter, please. Share with your followers. And please share on Facebook. We fully support um, sharing and helping each other uh, share this information. So also, if you would like to join a seat, please uh, take one of the open seat spots as we're talking, if there's a particular subject that you'd like to ask questions on. Also, if you would like to ask questions in the message section, please just press Q forward slash space 
in your send a message section in the right hand portion of the panel and those questions will pop up on our screen and we can ask Jeff about those. Well, that's awesome, you know, because one of the things that, you know, I I owned a health club for a lot of years and prior to that I had uh, had different chiropractors that would open up a small little facility within the gym that we were located in because you know that was the emphasis that chiropractors wanted to do was is to really educate people in the gym environment you know around different things that might pop up as a result of obviously not using proper form or not training in a way that you know was truly benefiting them in their body and you know I always thought that chiropractic care was definitely necessary. And one of the things that I did was, is I did it for a while and then I stopped. And now obviously from listening to what you said, it definitely sounds like, you know, why a person would need a chiropractor. Can you elaborate a little more on that? Why would we need a chiropractor? Sure. Well, one, one of the things is that a lot of people have been misinformed about chiropractic. And one of the things is that people, People generally go to a chiropractor when they've tried everything else or they feel that they've tried everything else. It's impossible to try everything, but they feel that they've tried a lot of things. And the, the real truth is, is that there's studies to show how chiropractic care keeps your body in alignment. And when your body's in alignment, you function much better. There's studies from, from Denmark that show that patients who are under chiropractic care, as opposed to just being under traditional medical care, did better in all aspects of their health, psychological, internal organs, musculoskeletal, sexual relationships with their partners. And there's also studies that show that chiropractic care helps slow down the aging process. And these are studies not conducted by me. This is not me saying it. These are studies that were conducted, these were studies conducted at the University of Iowa. And these are studies that were conducted at Emory University with Medicare patients. It, sh it showed how it slowed down the effects of aging. So if it can help it in the aging population, what could it do for you? And, and, another, and another truth is, if you take a look at some of the most elite athletes in the world, because I've heard a lot of people say, I do yoga. I don't need a chiropractor. I work out. I don't need a chiropractor. Well, if you take a look at some of the most elite level athletes in the world, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Usain Bolt, okay, Tom Brady. If you take a look and see why they use chiropractors, it's not about pain. It's about performance. They use chiropractors to increase the potential, their human potential, and their and their full and their, so that they can increase their performance on whether it's bodybuilding, football, the golf course. So they're not talking about using chiropractors for pain. They're talking about using it to increase their human performance and their human potential. And that says a lot. Now, chiropractic is great for pain. If you have a herniated disc, if you have sciatica, you, you know, seeing a chiropractor is great so that we can take pressure off of, of whatever is causing the pain that you have so your body can heal on its own. But how about taking it a step further and increasing your full potential with chiropractic care? That's really what chiropractic is about. And most people don't even understand that. That's what chiropractic is about. So what is the cause of some of, you know, some of these issues that people, you know, is it a particular thing that they're doing that causes these issues for their body to, you know, get out of misalignment? I mean, what, give us some of the areas that are what causes the different, you know, areas of pain. I would say it, it's, well, I would say it's, it's either too much or not enough of something. For instance, exercising at, at a level which your body really isn't meant to, live up to. For instance, there are people who work out seven days a week, twice a day. Um, I've treated patients from the UFC who do that. They work out two, sometimes three times a day. And these are some of the most elite level athletes in the world, but they're pushing their body beyond, beyond its normal capacity. And I also treat people who sit on a couch all day and do nothing. So most of the times it's not, it's, it's not doing things exactly precisely perfect. It's doing too much of something or not enough. If you're not exercising, your immune system's not going to be functioning properly. Your muscles aren't going to be firing off the way that they should. And when you're not utilizing your muscles, we know through scientific studies, if you're going to just sit there on the couch all day, that will lead up to pain. So it's, it's one of the two. It's not picking things up properly. And it's also two other things. 
it's, it's, it's really three things. It's physical, chemical, and emotional stress. The physical part is doing too much or, do, or doing not enough. The other part is emotional. There are studies, proven studies, that show that feeling guilty about something can lead to back pain. So we know that there's an emotional component of pain. There's also parts, there's also parts in our nervous system where the nerves come out through the spine that have memory of having pain. So there's a lot of memory associated with it, stress. Um, and then you have the chemical portion of it. Look at the food that we're eating. Most of the food that we're eating now is, is genetically modified, which our bodies have no idea what we're supposed to be doing with all these new proteins that we've created. We're eating foods with preservatives in it. We're eating food that's refined. We're eating food that, that for instance, that there's people who eat a lot of artificial sweeteners. Our bodies don't know what to do with it. And, it. and it causes a really bad effect on our nervous system, which in turn causes our bones to be misaligned, our muscles to be misaligned, and our lives to be misaligned. And that's where chiropractic care comes in. There's, there's three components, the physical, the chemical, and the emotional. And that's where I come in, by adjusting people's spines, doing meditation studies with them to show them how to calm down their nervous system, calm down their thoughts, and also show my patients how to eat properly. It's not, an over, it's not an overnight it's not an overnight change it's something that you have to dedicate yourself to if you want to look to your full potential well, that was going to be my, the thing that i was going to come on on you know as we were talking i had mentioned to you so i'm a retired pro fitness bodybuilder and i had spent so many years obviously lift well i started out as a power lifter in europe and so i was lifting very very heavy weight and lifting uh doing a lot of deadlifts that you know caused me to really really have to look at the support of my lower back, but I'm noticing, you know, in my fifties that I'm having incredible lower back pain and I exercise. So, you know, I've been looking at, okay, is it my bed? You know, what is the cause of this lower back pain? Because I really don't see myself doing anything different than what I do. And then I'm a, I am a habitual meditator. I have non-negotiable daily practices and meditation is part of that. But that really leads to my next question because I set up an appointment to go to a medical doctor. Right. So what's the difference between a chiropractor and going to a medical doctor? And obviously they're going to send me to a specialist. Sure. One of the biggest differences between a medical doctor and a chiropractor is a medical doctor is going to look at your symptoms and give you medication to control the symptoms. A chiropractor is going to take a look at what's causing the problem and we're going to correct what's causing that problem, whether it's a disc, whether it's a nerve, whether it's a muscle, whether it's the joint that's misaligned. And the real truth is, like I had said before, your body knows how to heal on its own. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that every, for every single ailment that people have and they come to me, I'm able to, you know, to correct that or their, their body's able to correct that. However, when you work from the inside, cause that's really where your health comes from. Somehow when a sperm and an egg met each other, they were able to make you. You didn't have, nobody had to sit there and, you know, all the doctors in the world and the smartest people in the world didn't have to sit there and coach that sperm and egg to form who you are. Right. And your body has that same, some people call it innate. Some people call it a universal spirit. Some people believe that it's, you know, some religious power, whatever you want to call it. It's inside and it's programmed inside of our DNA. And what the chiropractor is doing is by just removing what's interfering, your body heals on its own. Take your foot off the hose and the water will come out of it. Mm. That's what we do. You know, and so listening, because I see, I, I hear you saying, you know, you're moving a lot to the spiritual direction of our body being hel able to heal, heal itself. You know, with all these different holistic practices out there, you know, something like acupuncture, acupressure. How is, what's the difference between chiropractic care and what you're doing versus some of these other holistic practices uh, out there to heal our bodies? Sure, well, what I've done is I've taken three safe, gentle, more important proven techniques and merged them together. And the three techniques that I do, the first one is, is a technique called Cox Spinal Decompression. It is the only non-surgical proven technique to Take a herniated disc, and I'm sure you've heard of a herniated disc before, add stenosis and correct it. Now, when I say correct it, I don't mean bring it back to 100% of where it was before. Mm -hmm. it's not, I'm not saying make it perfect, but I'm saying to get people out of pain from that. 
Let me ask you a question real quick around that. What is, I mean, how is a herniated disc caused? It can be caused by a lot of different things. It, be, it could be caused by, uh, it could be caused by anything from a virus that they're finding out now. It could get into the disc and break the fibers down of the disc. It mm -hmm. could be caused <coughs> by bending and lifting up something heavy. It could be caused by something sne by, by, by sneezing. It could be caused by a motor vehicle accident. The truth of the matter is, is that a lot of times when people herniate a disc in their back, they'll say, I did X, Y, and Z today and that caused it. It really didn't come from today. It came from one thing after the next, after the next, after the next. You don't just become diabetic after eating a donut. You don't get a heart attack after eating a, you know, a bacon double cheeseburger. It, it's a cumulative effect. So what happens is most of us do not maintain spinal hygiene. We take our cars to a car wash to keep them clean. We change the oil in our car. We get our tires rotated. We make sure that our houses are maintained. We brush our teeth, we go to dentists. Most people do not go to a chiropractor for preventative maintenance. And once, once you've gotten to the disc herniation, okay, number one, it takes longer to get you out of pain and it's more expensive. So people, if people did things to prevent the disc herniation from happening or, you know, certain things such as stenotic changes or narrowing of the spine that causes leg pains and numbness and tingling that could be alleviated with chiropractic care instead of just relying on taking a pill for this symptom, this symptom, this symptom, this symptom. A lot of times, and I'm sure a lot of your listeners know this, so you may know this yourself. And the truth of the matter, it's not our fault, but we've, we've been, we're, we're overwhelmed with TV ads, radio ads, internet ads. You drive down the highway, you see an ad for this pill, that pill, the miracle pill of the day. All of a sudden now there's a class action lawsuit against this pill. We forget and we lost faith in our body's ability to heal. And we have more faith in a pill that doesn't even know who we are than our own, you know, the intelligence that we have inside of us. So that's really, I know that that's a long, that was a long answer, what the difference is between chiropractic care and other practitioners. As a chiropractor, I utilize techniques to take pressure off of the spine. I correct rotator cuff injuries by alleviating some of the scarring that occurs in a rotator cuff or carpal tunnel syndrome, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow. An acupuncturist, what they do is they place needles on very specific points and they work with energy patterns in the body. And they also break up what's called the fascia. The fascia, if, if some of your listeners don't know what fascia is, once I tell them what it is, they'll realize they've seen it before. If you cut a chicken and you see that white film that's on the outside of it, that's mm -hmm. fascia. That's what holds our bodies together. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and for years, medical science was like, there's, no, there's nothing to, to fascia. Now they're realizing that people are in excruciating pain due to, you know, fascial tears, plantar fasciitis. I'm sure you've heard the word before. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I work with the fascia and they'll line it back into place. Acupuncturists or acupressures will just apply pressure to it. Mm -hmm. What I do is I have over 500 patented specific maneuvers to break up scar tissue in the body through a technique called active release technique. It's proven, it's safe, and it's gentle. And almost every single professional sports team, amateur sports team, as well as collegiate team has an active release technique practitioner that's treating their athletes. Wow. So let's, let's talk about those three proven techniques that you, that you talk about that are so beneficial to all of us. Sure. Well, one of the things is just to give your, your listeners an idea of why I do what I do mm -hmm. as a chiropractor. I had, I was practicing, I was seeing patients and I, I'd gotten injured. I was, I was doing martial arts and I got thrown. And when I was getting thrown, I like, it was a, it was a beautiful day. I remember like how nice and sunny it was. And I just got slammed. And I remember when I got slammed, I'm looking up at the instructor and I was like, I've, I've been thrown plenty of times. I've never gotten thrown this, this I landed like a square tire. Instead of a round tire, I just landed everywhere. I was sloppy. And I was getting what most people would consider um, chiropractic care when you get adjustments where you hear the snapping and the popping and the clicking sounds, which is great. It, it's, it's very effective and it works for a lot of people. However, I was really way past that. 
And I looked into some of the chiropractic techniques. One of them was called Cox Technique for disc herniations. I was seeing a Cox Technique provider, but I had also hurt, I also hurt my rotator cuff. So I was seeing somebody who does active release technique, the technique that I was talking to you about. And I'm seeing one guy and I'm seeing the other guy. And I'm spending like three hours between going to doctor's offices. And I kind of figured I wanted to take the peanut butter and put it where, where the cookie was, kind of like kind of like a Kit Kat, but nobody did that. Everybody, one person had the chocolate one and the peanut butter, and the other one had the cookie. So I was like, I'm going to go back. I'm going to educate myself. I'm going to immerse myself in these techniques. I'm going to learn how to do both of them. And I've traveled all over the country, and I've immersed myself, you know, in, in a lot of postgraduate education to learn these techniques so that when my patients come to me, I could take care of a disc herniation or a rotator cuff, all the, the layers of the tissue and getting even in between layers layers of tissue wow. and, and help they could heal. Wow. I love it. Well, go on. I mean, so you've, so, you, I mean, how are some of the ways that you actually, you know, do this? I mean, what are the techniques as far as how do you do this? I mean, is this a specific positioning that they have to lie in? I mean, how do you tell what their specific issues are? Well, the first thing like any doctor would do is I would do a complete examination. If my patients brought in x-rays, I would take a look at the x-rays just to make sure that I could take care of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a look at MRIs, other studies that they may have. And then the most important thing that a chiropractor does, and this is something that differentiates chiropractors from medical doctors, mm -hmm. because most medical doctors have overlooked feeling where things move properly, where things don't move. And I'm going to feel where your problem is, and I'm going to see in which direction does the tissue feel like it's not moving? Where is it smaller? Where does it feel knotty or, or ropey or stirred up? And what I'm going to do is with my hands, with my trained hands, I'm going to align the tissue back into place. With If I'm doing active release, it's over 500 different techniques. Or if I do the Cox technique, it's a specific table when the, where the patient lies face down and the table moves in specific directions, as well as my hands are trained to put a certain amount of pressure to open the spine up to actually take the disc. Okay, I'm sure you've mm -hmm. heard of discs. Mm -hmm. It's only a non-surgical proof technique. I can take a disc and put it into what's called a negative state. And I don't mean negative where it's crying, negative. I mean a negative state as in a vacuum. And we all know what vacuums do. Mm -hmm. So I could actually take that disc and make it absorb back into its proper place to take pressure off of the spine so that you don't have to rely on having surgery, so that you don't have to rely on getting an injection every other week, or excuse me, every, every other few months, excuse me. Nobody's getting an injection every week. Or <laughs> if you've had surgery that's failed, and I'm not talking about one surgery, I'm talking about sometimes two or three. I could still work on you. I might have to work above the level where you've had the surgery, but I could still work on you. And I do have patients from time to time who've had numerous failed surgeries. I'm talking about a spinal surgery that wasn't successful where the surgeon said, we've got to go in there again. We've got to correct the scar tissue. And the patient basically was like, listen, we, we did it once. We did it twice. We did it three times. Each surgery that I did took six months out of my life. It cost me tens of thousands of dollars from work. So now people, are, you know, they've lost time from work. They're not able to play with their kids. They're not even able to have a sexual relationship with their spouse. Well, these are, these three things are some of the most vital needs that, that people have. You know, these are things that people need. So the care that I give, not, I'm not saving people money. I'm actually, you're going to actually make money when you're under my care because you're not going to lose time from work. Or if you do lose time from work, it's going to be minimal. You'll get back to your sexual relationship with your partner or your significant other, whomever that is, and you'll be able to go play with your kids. And you might even be able to go back to work and work better than you were before and get a raise. I mean, this is what chiropractic is really about. It's about it's about helping people achieve their peak performance or living in their full potential. So let me ask you a question on a deeper level, because, you know, as I'm hearing you say just what you're saying, you know, we talk about energy and we talk about the flow of energy and there not being energy restriction because our bodies are basically vibrational frequencies of, you know, different energies. And as you said, stress and, you know, joy and happiness and, you know, all these other things that are going on within us. So uh, the question is, is basically um, how can you 
how can how do you know if you have these restrictions in you i mean you're saying that we should have chiropractic care on a regular basis what if we don't have any symptoms or anything going on i mean would we just come to a chiropractic uh, chiropractor just because sure as as i was saying before there are studies that show that chiropractic care helps to slow down the effects mm -hmm. of aging. That's one, that, that's one study. So if you want to slow down the effects of aging on your spine, chiropractic care has been, there's already, the, the study has been done for that. There's also studies that show that chiropractic care increases your serotonin level. How many people do you hear about are taking, ser uh, are taking all these, um, these medic antidepressants? Now, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that chiropractic care is going to cure, cure your depression. That's not what I'm saying. What I mm -hmm. am based on the proven studies out there, is that chiropractic care and adjusting vertebra back into that proper place increases your serotonin level. Don't you want to feel better? Mm -hmm. Chiropractic care has also been proven to increase your oxytocin level. Now, most people have heard of serotonin. Mm -hmm. Most people have not heard of oxytocin. Oxytocin is something that your body produces. It, females will produce it once they've given birth to a child. That gives the mother that feeling of bonding with that child, almost like not wanting to let that child go. So that's why you hear stories of people who, who are under chiropractic care, who have like this bond with their chiropractic care. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they may, not, they may not understand why, but besides getting out of pain, I understand when you get out of pain, people are very appreciative of that. But there's a lot of hormonal changes that go on inside of people's bodies, and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. The other thing is chiropractic care. They're doing studies in, in New Zealand to show that adjusting vertebra helps to increase the strength of the, of the human being. So why would you not want to be stronger? Why would you not want to increase your serotonin level? Why would you not want to increase your oxytocin level? And why would you not want to also increase your body's own ability to produce antioxidants, which is another study that chiropractic care ha has, um, has been doing. And another one for, for your female listeners Chiropractic care has been shown to help uh, with, with menstrual cramps and back pain during menstrual cycles. So who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want to feel better? Mm -hmm. That's what chiropractic care is really about. Yes, do we take care of, of, of most of our patients, uh, patients who come in for an injury? Yeah, that's also the marketing that's been done around chiropractic care over the last past X amount of years. Are we great for, for patients in pain? Yes, we are. Can we treat every single person that comes into the office? No, it's not. No doctor can treat every single person. But that's the, these are things that chiropractic care is about, and these are things that I that I educate my patients about, so that they can help their families out who, who, who need chiropractic care, so they can help out friends, coworkers, whomever it is. That's 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 why you want to see a chiropractor, other than just because my back hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm going through menopause. I'm at that stage in my life where I'm going through menopause. And, you know, they've been looking at some of the different areas as to, you know, I was diagnosed with extreme anemia and I was having struggles getting out of bed. My lower back was, I mean, incredibly painful. Um, of course, you know, all the menstrual cramps and that sort of thing as well. Um, and so, you know, they thought that maybe this might be an issue as to, cause initially I had the back pain and then, you know, I kind of just sloughed it off. But from what I'm hearing from you say now, I mean, it's something that we should all integrate into what we call our non-negotiables. Sure. Absolutely. No, like you, if you don't have your health, I, I, I know it's cliche and I know people, here, if you don't have, if you don't have your health, what do you have? And and the thing is, the time when you realize that is when you're not healthy. And when you're not healthy, you realize how much you're spending on going back and forth to doctors. <clears throat> how much? You, how much is it? Not only how much you're spending, how much? How much are you not making? What's your cost of inaction? What's, what is it costing you in your job? What is it costing you in your relationships? What is it costing you with your family? What is it costing you with your friends to take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't. A lot of people. Of saying, well, it's going to cost me 
X amount of time per day. It's going to cost me X amount of you know dollars in gas. It's going to cost me <coughs> X amount of dollars to see a car, you know to see the chiropractor if my insurance you know pays for it or doesn't pay for it. You know that, that's you know I mean wh whether your insurance pays for that. You know it, it's very funny because unlike most of your listeners, a lot of America manages to find money to go out and buy shots of alcohol, cigarettes. Lottery tickets, things that really don't add to your health. Right. People, so so this is a value system that people have, and a lot of people don't understand how how important it is to keep your body healthy, and how important it is to not only keep yourself healthy but stay healthy, because it, 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 it takes a lot more to get healthy than it does. To stay One of our viewers here, Donald. The other thing is, with, with oh, you cut out. Is that? Are you there? I'm here. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, we have a poor internet signal for you. Oh no, Jeff! I'm losing your connection. I'm sorry. That's all right. We we have a we we see we don't see your face anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I hear you, but I don't see your face now. Okay, see, yeah, you won't see my face because the poor internet connection is on your side. Do you want to uh, go off and come back in real quick? Uh, you want to just refresh the page? Yeah, try that. Okay. Thank you, everybody who's joining in. Uh, if you could go ahead and share this educational information that Dr. Jeff Rosenberg is sharing with us on your Twitter and also on your Facebook, I would greatly appreciate it. This is Sherry Gideons with the Whole Life Living Show. And we are speaking to Dr. Jeffrey Rosenberg. He is a chiropractor in New York City, and he's sharing with us three proven techniques that really benefit us. But what I'm hearing here is, is that he's really sharing with us an enormous amount of education where, you know, chiropractic should be part of our daily practice or our weekly practice. And I am really loving what he's sharing with us. So please, if you have any questions or you would like to uh, join in, please put on your screen in your send message section, Hugh forward slash space if you would like to ask any questions and Jeff I was just sharing with our viewers a little bit more about you recapping on who you are and what you do we have one of our viewers who says here in uh, the forum his name is Donald and he says I was hit by a car when walking across the street I have had surgery on my neck and still have pain and my in my neck and lumbar sure Okay. Well, one of the things is, is that although I can't see what kind of surgery he's had, mm -hmm. one of the things is, is that I've treated a lot, I've treated a lot of patients who've had surgery. So I'll, I'll, I'll go over a few surgeries that, that he may have had this, or unless he could type what kind of surgery he had. Did, did he have an anterior fusion? Is it possible that, uh, Donald, you could type in what kind of surgery you had? And if so, what level did they fuse together? Let's see if he's still here. So while we're waiting for you to answer his question, so, you know, listening to so, so many of the things that you've been sharing, and now we come into your office, and let's just say we're going to do standard chiropractic care. We're going to make it a part of our daily, or I, you know, I guess that's my question, is how often should we come into your office for what we would call, you know, daily chiropractic care, or, you know, just to be taking care of ourselves on a regular basis? I have patients that come to me. There's no set answer. There's no set okay. answer question. But the more stress you're under, 
obviously the more you're going to want to maintain your body. I have patients that come to me once a week. I have some that come once every two weeks. Some come to me once a month. There's no, there's no set answer. I know myself, I get, I, I see a chiropractor once a week because just like anybody else, even though I'm a chiropractor, my body's under stress. So I need chiropractic care too, to keep myself running the way that I should. Okay. So at least once a week then. Uh, if you're going to come to me and you have no pain what's, whatsoever, if you want to just make some structural changes so you could live in your full potential, you can start up once a week, eventually wane yourself off down to, you know, once a month and once every two months. However, pain, depending on the type oh. of pain that you're in, three times a week, you might need to see me five times a week. Mm -hmm. Everybody's different. There's not, there's no, there's no cookie cutter, you know, there's no cookie cutter approach. And I see, I see that Donald, mm -hmm. your, your viewer put in that he had a C5 and C6 views. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. I've taken care of people who've had, who've had cervical vertebra fused with my technique. And if you, if, if you'd like, I could, I could give um, your viewer my email address or contact information. He can contact me. And I could find a chiropractor for him near where he is. If he's near me, he can come and see me. Or if he's in California or wherever he is, I'll find him a chiropractor who specifically deals with post-surgical fusions. Because most chiropractors do not. Mm. Only, only Cox Technique doctors are trained to deal with post-surgical fusions fusions at C5, C6, or even if it was C3, C4, it doesn't matter the level for right now. However, only Cox technique doctors are trained to deal with cervical fusions. Chiropractic adjustment where people would think turning the head and, and, and adjusting the vertebra, that's not the technique you want to do on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so see, I mean, knowing that now, is chiropractic care, is it safe? Because I mean, I, the thing that scares me is like, for example, I fell on my head years ago. I was a gymnast. Obviously, I mentioned I was a pro athlete and I fell on my head and I lost all of the, um, oh, what is it when you, in your neck area? You know, what is that called? You lost the curve? Yeah. You lost the cervical yes, curve? I lost all gotcha. of the cervical curve in my neck. And for a lot of years, I had to, they put like that, Thing on my head where the ball would go backwards and it would pull my head or my neck backwards and it used to scare me when they would do you know they would adjust my neck so is it safe okay so let's talk about the safety of chiropractic care chiropractic care does have a very safe record there are however at times and depending on what study you're asking one out of every five million visits can result in what's called a CVA, which is a vascular accident or a mini stroke. Mm -hmm. And I'm not downplaying it by calling it that. It is. It's a mini stroke. Most patients do recover from those. Okay. However, the technique that I do mm -hmm. cannot and will not and has not caused a CVA based on the direction that we put the spine in. Mm -hmm. So that's another beauty of, of the Cox technique that I do. It will not put the spine in a position where you're going to have a mini stroke or a cerebrovascular accident. I would say that that's a pretty safe record. Mm -hmm. There are patients from time to time after, uh, usually after their first chiropractic visit, or sometimes their 10th or 20th, who do have soreness as if they had a, rig uh, a rigorous workout. And that's something that could be easily treated with, with, you know, heating a few times for 10 minutes. But the side effects are, the side effects or the potential dangers of chiropractic care are so low. You very, it's very rare that you hear about anybody having a problem with chiropractic care. So these three techniques that, that you're talking about, how come every chiropractor isn't using them? I think because of the fact that you have a few reasons. Number one, they just get they get in a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't have the need to expand and find out more things because maybe they didn't feel that they needed it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, between um, between the, the three techniques that I do, it's costly. It's extremely costly. These are all postgraduate. These are all postgraduate um, uh, 
things that I've learned. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're going to, not only are you going to pay to, you know, not be in your office, you're going to pay to fly the way you need to get to, you're going to pay for a hotel, you know, and you also have to pay for the courses. So mm -hmm. there's, there, there could be a monetary issue with some people, which to me is, is very foolish because you're there to serve people. And the more you spend, you know, and the more you contribute, you're going to get it back somehow. That's just how it works. And the, other, the other thing is, a lot of times people just don't feel like studying for things. They feel like, oh, what I do is what I do, and you know, that's that's fine. And I realize that, you know, not not every not every you know, you can't take a hammer for every nail. Sometimes you have to pull the nail out of the wall. It's not meant, to, you know, not everything is meant to be, you know, treated the same way on every single patient on every single visit. On every single time, it just doesn't work that way. So I, you know, I I've tried to get other chiropractors that I know to go out of their comfort zone to do some of the other stuff. They just, it's just not what they want to do. And if it works for them, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's you know, I mean, really, from everything that you've shared here, I mean, I think what's coming across the most for me, and I'm sure for a lot of our our listeners as well, is is that you're very passionate passionate about education and you're very passionate about really sharing these techniques with humanity, obviously, so they benefit us. But it sounds like you're even willing to take it an extra step and open up the opportunity for people to connect with you. And if they're not in your local area, you'd be willing to connect them with a doctor who does practice these techniques. Sure, absolutely. They could, you know, they, they could easily, you know, find me online. Or they could even, you know, they can call me up and I'm, I'm more than happy to refer people to chiropractors who do some of the same work that, that I do. Because I've lectured in different parts, you know, and I've been on other, other shows before. So, you know, not every, not every single person lives in New York City. I know that a lot of people in New York City think that everybody and everything happens in New York City. But I get it. Not everybody lives here. And, you know, not every chiropractor practices here. So. So yes, anybody can reach out to me and I'll find them a doctor who is appropriate and can deliver the level of care that I feel that I deliver and the, and the, and the standards mm -hmm. that everybody deserves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, David, I mean, or Donald said that he's uh, he's from Cali, but he lives in Denmark now. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's that's a move. I'm, I'll have to. I know I. I know I can find somebody who does the soft tissue work, the the active release technique that I do, but to decompress the spine, I, there's very few doctors in Europe who actually do this particular technique. So, hmm. wow. Yeah, there's very there's very few. There's very, there's only three doctors in all, of, only three chiropractors in all of New York City who are certified to do it, and there's three over 300 chiropractors. So. Them. Wow. So what else goes on in your practice? I, I mean, I get that you're passionate about these, you know, proven techniques. And I mean, what are some of the other things that you're doing within your practice? Sure. So I, I'll conduct um, complimentary health lectures in my office to educate not only my patients, but other people, other people in the community who are interested in finding out what I do to become, what I do to, to maintain my health, such as how do I eat? What's my daily ritual? What do I do in the morning when I wake up? You know, a lot of people when they wake up, the first thing they they get up is with an alarm clock. What's the first word alarm clock? Alarm. How do you feel once you've been alarmed? You know, so I have a daily ritual and I've conducted um, workshops for people to learn a morning daily ritual, how to get themselves in a better state so that they could deal with other people, their family, friends, and not all that, the other the emotions that they have. Because if your emotions are, are not, you know, not under, you know, or, or the, if you don't feel the way that you're going to feel, you're not going to be, you're not going to be performing at your full potential either. So those are some of the things that I do. And I also give a lot of my patients and other people through some of the workshops, um, some nutritional advice, show them what I, well, not, not, not only show them, but tell them what I eat. I also have, have put out like little samples of some of the things that I eat. And most people at first are very hesitant or reticent to try some of the things, you know, organic foods, non-processed foods that people think may, might be weird or, you know. Mm -hmm. well, here, now, here's the weird thing. What's, what's more weird? Eating, eating something that was made in a laboratory 
that you that more than likely you're not going to be able to pronounce hexametasodium phosphate. Right. <laughs> exactly. Who's the weirdo? So the thing yes. is, not only not only can you pronounce it, do you even know what it is? And, and, and the other thing too is, and, and, and I'm sure you could I'm sure you could relate to this. Once you've changed your diet, and I don't even like the word diet, and like your lifestyle. Once you've changed your lifestyle and you've gone to a lifestyle where you're eating whole, not natural, because natural to me is natural is not organic. You can eat natural food, but they could say it's natural, but we spray it after that. I'm talking organic food. Once you've eaten that food, it's kind of hard to go back to like industrialized processed foods. And it's very funny because I'll get people who are very reticent to eating organic food, but you'll have a conversation. Oh, have you ever traveled? Yeah, I've traveled before. Have you ever gone to Italy? Yeah, I've gone to Italy. What do you like about Italy? Oh, the food's great there. It's organic food. That's why you like it. Oh, really? Like people like they just, they have, the associations are not always there. Like people just don't always understand that there's these associations, but they haven't filled in the blank. So and that's one of the big things. If, if you start eating food that was meant to be eaten and you're not eating food that was really just squeezed in from a laboratory and they spurred it into a bowl and mix it up and you're drinking these, I don't want to mention, I don't want to mention any particular names or of anything like that. But, but, um, but the thing is, if you're eating foods where they're colors that you've never seen in nature, chances are you shouldn't be eating it. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people, do, you know, you talk about associations and stuff like that. I mean, it, I mean, you could take it as far as a lot of people don't understand insulin and the Krebs cycle and ATP and all of that and how, you know, you actually increase energy and how you can lengthen the period through which you have longer, longer stretches of energy on eating particular types of foods. Sure. That's this, you're, there's a reason why certain foods were, were put on this earth. And whether you mm -hmm. believe that it's, you know, if you're Jewish and you believe it's one God or this God, or you just believe in an organic diet, it's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. You aren't meant to be eating a bag of, of processed food with no fibrous, no fibrous content in it, no vitamins. Or the best is I love when I see like a bag of food and they say enriched with. Enrich mm. it after they take it out. Why don't you just leave it in there? But the thing is that it look it just it's it's not as appealing. It's 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 not as appealing to the eye. And kids, you know, kids want to eat all these foods with all these wacky, silly colors in them. And then parents wonder why the kids aren't well behaved putting poison in people that's really that, that th th these are like universal truths you know mm -hmm. so that's that's really what i educate people on I, i'm trying to start really a movement of people who are taking care of their health from within that mm. that to me is the most important thing and chiropractic care is part of it it's not the only part of it but it's part of it well you're speaking my language i mean because that's really the that that's really what i want to be a part of that movement and obviously people to be part of that with me as well is this is you know to recognize that 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 we, we that which we seek that wholeness that we seek is really available within all of us yeah. and you know, as we come together you know you educating myself educating as we come together with our gifts and our talents and really share this globally with others. I mean, because I'm a believer that what you're seeking is already seeking you. So you showed up in my life, I showed up in your life so that we could come together and share this education here with our listeners and viewers today. And you know what? I'm so, so grateful for that. And, wow. and I just really appreciate you being here with me today. I'd like you to share with all of our viewers and listeners mm -hmm. Any additional information as far as, you know, when you talk about education, where people can go and read more about what you're sharing, you know, some of the things that you've spoken about here today on the show, and then also how to contact you and how to uh, email you so that they can get in touch with you after the show. Sure. Okay. Well, one of the things is if you want some more information about what I do, you can go to my website. It's 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 uh, Rosenberg R O S E N B E R G Wellness Center dot com, or if you type in Doctor Jeff, 
dot, dot com. That'll come up too. DR for doctor, not D O C T O R. They can, and, and if somebody wants to, so as a, as a as a gift to some of your listeners, if they'd like to, they can reach out to me over over the phone. My office number is two one two eight five eight zero zero one five as well as 516-455-7812. So you're just, I'm very accessible. And if somebody just doesn't want to talk, they can send me an email to J-E-F-F, that's my first name, at drjeff.nyc, and that's D-R for Dr. J-E-F-F dot N-Y-C for New York City. There's no dot com after that. So if you dot com it, it's never going to get to me. Other, I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah, and if they're interested, they can go to the Cox Technique website, um, at coxtechnique.com, or they can go to the active release. They can go to activerelease.com and find out more about what I do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you, Jeff, for joining in with us today. You've been listening and viewing Dr. Jeff Rosenberg from New York City. He is a chiropractor and he's been just sharing with us an amazing amount of education and awareness around why we should have chiropractic care in, in, our, in, in our lives and how it really benefits us all. So I want to thank you all for joining in today on the Whole Life Living Show. My name is Sherry Gideons. I'm your host. I am a author, speaker, life mastery coach and motivated trainer, helping people clarify what they want in life so that they can win and succeed. You can visit me at wholelifeliving.com for updated guests and also an archive of all of our guests that have been appearing here on the Whole Life Living Show. And thank you so much for joining in. Visit me next week weekly on Mondays at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on Blab. Uh, I would also appreciate if you would follow me on Blab at Sherry Gideons. And once again, thank you so much for joining today. Thank you, Jeff. Thank Have you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. This was a pleasure. I read. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>